Hey everybody, you know me, it's Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. I thought I'd do this maintenance uh, video I'm working on here. This is the Auric Orbital here in my van and I talked about using some Velcro. This is 15 pound Velcro I got at Home Depot for like four bucks and some waterproof um, plastic adhesive. I put it on there pretty thick that just pops onto the bottom of the um, auric, but I needed the um, Velcro to hold the pad. I don't know if these little um, spikes, you can see them, some of them are starting to flatten out or wear out, and it's just not holding the pad. I was doing a job um, the other day, and every time I got on the stairs and kind of angled it, it, the pad just folded up and popped off, so... Anyway, I'm going to show you here. The Velcro works awesome. This is a standard cotton pad. And you can see they start to fray apart a little bit from those little needles, which actually when they're frayed apart a little bit, they stick even better to the 15 pound Velcro. Just a light, light amount of pressure. And there you go and they hold on there really good so I'm pretty impressed I did put an order in for a new uh, driver the Wheeler Brothers recommended the one that has the octagon um, little sp spikes on them so but you can see this is holding pretty good and if you don't use the adhesive glue excuse me <coughs> then the just the tape adhesive on the back of the um, stuff pulls off when you pull it apart I'm gonna have my wife here pull it off since I'm using one hand and just tear it kind of slowly and you can see it's on there really good and it's not pulling apart so ta-da problem solved that way I'll have uh, two drivers now I'll have the new one that's coming <laughs> here's my dog and I'm going to show you. So that one's solved. The other thing is I thought I'd show while I got the van open and I'm doing some maintenance. Um, if you guys have the um, sprayers, manual sprayers, these Smith or Husqvarna um, sprayers, they are the absolute best. I've been using these for years. And there's a reason I use them. If you, um, I have a two gallon and I have a three gallon. I like the two gallon for VLM cleaning jobs and the three gallon um, for general full house. I usually only put two gallons of solution in there and that extra gallon allows me to pump it up really good um, with the space in there. I pump it up about 70 times and then um, it's good to go. I can spray the whole house. See these tabs? You, what you do in both of these, if you've ever had a sprayer and you've replaced the guts, man, sometimes those plastic, uh, the complete plastic handles and the little corrugated cups that they use, they're just garbage. I mean, the Home Depot brand, the Ace hardware brands, I mean, some of the cheap ones. And these, you know, they're not 20 bucks. They're probably about, you know, 30 30 for the two gallon, about 38 for the three gallon. Excuse me, but let me get situated here and I'll show you. What you want to look for is the metal pole that goes down the center. It's not all one cheap plastic piece, it's actual metal. And then you see you got the that gray piece that has the two tabs. And all you do on these for maintenance when it starts to get hard to pump up or you need to clean it out, let me reach around here. You just push these tabs in and you pull the whole thing out. And the beauty of it is now you can flush out. You can pull that, the black center piece that comes out if you click it back on there and then unscrew it. You can hose that out. And um, But that's what you got is you've got an O-ring. Let me move this. Um, connector back a little bit you got the bar and then you got a simple o-ring you can get these at any hardware store 
to replace when they wear out. And you can see this one, I've already serviced it. It's got some lubricant on it. You can use uh, like a uh, waterproof uh, uh, grease, you know, they have at hardware stores or I think I just picked up at the dollar store um, some petroleum jelly. And what I do is I, I'll clean it all out, wipe off, make sure that the O-ring's still in good shape and then I let a little pressure out of this thing. But as long as the O-ring's still good and tight, then I will, um, once I clean everything out, I'll take a little bit of petroleum jelly on my finger and I'll wipe it around. And here's the petroleum jelly in my mess of tools here. <clears throat> and I think it, yeah, it's, from the dollar store so it's cocoa butter also the smell or something but anyway regardless it works it's waterproof it lubricates i've been using it for quite a while that thing will last probably a lifetime because you only put a little bit around the uh, rim of the uh, o-ring so hope this helps you guys these things last forever carpet cleaners know if you're not a carpet cleaner and you have these pump up sprayers I'm telling you, you want one like that. They're so easy to maintain and clean out. And they pump so easy, fluent, and they just burst out the air. In fact, on the bottom of my um, sprayer, I put a uh, 110 uh, O2 uh, V-Jet, which we usually use on wands. I put it on the end of the, the carpet or the end of the sprayer wand. So, and they're made for the big one. But anyway, um, that's it for the maintenance that I'm doing today. Got my corner guards in there. Good to go. See you in the next video.